Hey guys, Mission here, and so today I'm having my first time lapse episode coming out. This is going to be a time lapse of a castle lobby, and this will be the first episode. So, as you can see, what I'm doing here is I'm getting started off with the first little thing we got here, and basically, all that's there is it's just a little platform kind of overlooking a cliff edge. And then I put the first tower in that goes along with the main gate. Now I'm just filling in the cylinder here. And just doing some stuff. <laughs> there we go. At first I was going to go with a full circle here, but it wasn't really like that in the um, picture that I'm going off of, which you can see in the top right corner there. So what I ended up doing is just curving along flat like this, and it actually worked a lot better because uh, to get like the grooves in and get that texture detail, it actually worked a lot better like this. And now you can see I just deleted that, and that's because it was too big to scale, so I ended up with going with a slightly smaller circle. It's only about a block in so, yeah, it's only about two blocks smaller in the radius, or in the diameter, but I just did it because thing. You can't really see me right now because I forgot to change the camera, but I'm back there actually building out the gate. Okay, coming into the next one here. Um, now, you didn't get to see the gate get built because on the previous shot it was going too far away and I didn't notice to change the camera, so... I ended up building this without it being recorded. Um, now you see the blue wool there is just kind of a template there for the bridge that I'm doing. So that's all that is. There we go. I started to build a little bit of the cliff here just so I can get the um, bridge supports in like a proper kind of like way into the cliff wall here. So I play around with the angle a bit, finally get one that satisfies me. Add a little bit of struts kind of thing to make it look like it's being held up a little bit more, kind of like a suspension bridge. I like it, it's kind of cool. And then I'm doing it on the other side, closest to us that we can't see the camera. And now I'm doing it at the next tower. decided to put it up one because it looked better. I'm still not sh quite sure if those towers like are a little too big or not. I mean like they kind of feel bulky but they're kind of bulky in the picture that I'm going off of as well so I don't know. I decided to keep them because later on it does start to look better so I don't really have a problem with it. Now I'm making another smaller tower here, and that is just for, there's going to be a bridge connecting between that and another tower, because the castle's kind of in two sections on two different like cliff peaks. So that's what I'm doing now. And now we're starting to do the bridge. I go with the same kind of design in the supports as I did with the main bridge going into the main gate but the top was kind of a covered bridge so I ended up going full wall all the way up and then peaking the roof just like it is in the picture. Now when I'm doing the roof here in a second and if you you'll notice that if you look in the picture there's, it's just really plain little stubs going up, but I didn't really like that. Like I tried it out, but it didn't. It, it just looked way too flat. In fact, the picture, the castle. If I were to do it exactly like in the picture, the whole thing would just be super flat, and it wouldn't be really nice in Minecraft. So I end up, you know, putting away a lot more wall decorations and stuff on this castle just because of how plain it is in the picture and in, in Minecraft that would just not, it just doesn't work. 
So anyways, you see me putting all these two things. There's supposed to be a flag in the middle one, and I'm thinking I'm going to come back to that at a later date because I just didn't want to bother around with the wool. Now, if you're wondering how I kind of get this effect on the uh, cobblestone... Ah, uh, shit. Cobblestone walls, that's the one. Um, when you put them in between the two blocks, you know how they immediately attract and bring out the wall to the thing. If you took, if you take two stairs and kind of put one the regular way and one upside down, it kind of, it makes it so that they don't stick up so you get like a nice kind of, ah, uh, what's the term? Can't remember what the term is, but you know what I mean, like, you know, it gives you those like small gaps that you would like shoot out of with like a rifle or something. So it's, it adds a quite a nice effect and I like using it. So again, I'm just putting a little bit more of the cliff in here. Just trying to get a sense of where this thing is actually going to be going. And I come around and make the wall. So you notice I didn't decorate the other wall over there. It's just because it was like time. I was like, I was just getting it you know, started, finished, getting everything ready. I'm going to go back and detail it later. Um, in this shot, though, I did detail the bridge because... I had a little bit more time on my hand, so I wasn't too not inclined. And I'm going to probably take the same style that I have here and apply it to the other wall as well, just so we have some consistency throughout the build. So next flash, I'm starting to build the roof. So as you can see, it's a dome. It's a dome roof, if you look in the picture. So that's what I'm going for here with the wood. Unfortunately. I, like I wish the Akeo wood was a little bit redder because it would have looked nicer and more accurate to the picture but it's, it's the best I have because the one that's like red shingles kind of like a red brick shingle a red clay shingle is one of the um, hardened clays but because there's no half slabs or anything of those I didn't really want to do it because I couldn't really make a nicely s sweet roof so I stayed with the Akeo wood and I use birch wood as the trimming that you see in the picture. So now I'm moving on, I'm building the staircase up to the next level. Now I actually noticed this a little bit later, but in the picture, there isn't actually a staircase here, it just goes straight into a wall, but I ended up thinking, ah, the staircase looks nice, I kind of like it. Um, what I was actually interpreting as a staircase was actually a support for this wall with the house, because it was kind of like overhanging, but I decided to keep the staircase because I liked it, but I included the overhanging stuff, as you can see me putting it in right now. So I still had the effect, but I liked the staircase, so I kind of kept it there. So as you can see, in this house, we got a little bit of wood framing going on here. And that's all just mainly decorative. You know, I could have used a specific texture in the Doku Craft, or not Doku Craft, Conquest, um, that actually has it so that it can have the you know connected kind of uh, bracing texture like that but I wanted to kind of keep it like on the large scale just like this because I had a bunch of buildings and this kind of let me do specifically what I wanted with it so that's why I chose to go this route it also helps to add some depth to it and these houses were mostly flat in the picture anyway, so it also helped me get some depth. So actually up there, it's just a short tower, it doesn't go too far above the camera. We'll swing out a bit and take a look at the total thing. So now I'm just adding the dark clay, it's a little bit more texture kind of thing. And you also see it being a little bit burned in the picture, so that's what I was trying to go for. So 
so we just added the bracing and this camera is going to pan out in a minute after I build sort of the platform here that you can walk across. So what I'm actually doing here is this kind of houses are kind of built into part of the cliff that's higher than the rest of the mountain so that's why you see those jagged so it's like coming from like stone brick that was placed there to even it out going into like kind of cobblestone base and stuff and then it's going to go straight into stone and become like an act a regular cliff kind of thing and that's kind of the effect I'm going there for as you can see on the top of the tower I'm doing the same kind of framework with the roof and how I'm having that you know spruce wood stairs just underneath the regular roof that's what I'm going for there come back down to the cliff here and finish it up there's a wood log in the picture that just goes straight up the thing so that's what that is and I also use it to kind of even out these uh, struts here and of course I have a wood log supporting going out through that because it looks kind of cool it looks better once I put on these actually the little older places it actually looks really cool I like it go around and start putting the roof on the kind of taller building and you can see the windows there's also two windows inside there now you couldn't see that on the picture so I just went and said hey let's just put some windows here so, why not? Uh, so now we're coming along to the kind of hallway thing but it has like two large openings so that's what I'm going for and now these are probably the most pain in the ass things is when you're trying to make arcs on a non like flat surface in Minecraft it's really a pain in the ass so what I ended up going was if you you can see how it goes there and I tried to get keep them both the same just so that it like wasn't like too different between each of them and that just helps it look kind of better like the thing I, I honestly hate putting curves into non-linear surfaces like this but the image did have this curved out so I decided to go with it. It actually doesn't look too bad by the time I'm done with it. You know, fixed it up and trimmed it and everything. So it worked out. So as you can see I'm trimming it there. I take off the top stair bricks there on the thing to replace them with half slabs so it gets a little bit more of a curved look. I played around with uh, putting some log frames on it, but it just looked weird, so I didn't do it. There you go. Now I'm doing the same kind of design with the stone and the cobble there, and then going into the stone. Thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you more in episode 2. Hit that subscribe link right there in the middle to see more. And watch the two videos on the side if you want to see more videos. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.